Right, okay guys, so today we're going to be playing Golden X on the Retroid Pocket 2. I'm going to hook this up to the TV. Now the reason I'm doing this and not playing it on the Mega Drive was because if you've watched one of my previous videos, you'll realise I had an issue with it. Um, I was getting flickering on the screen using the AV cable. So then I got a HDMI converter. So I was converting the auxiliary signal to HDMI. Unfortunately, the picture looks really dark. It stopped the flickering. But it's very blurry and dark looking. So the only other way around it at the moment is I've ordered an RF cable and I'll try that. Um, basically the, the TV doesn't like an auxiliary signal. Now I'm hoping that the RF signal might work. If it does it means I'm limited to recording it on my phone. But you know I'm doing that with the Retroid anyway today. So I could have captured it but I thought I'd just do it on the TV so that you guys can see what it actually looks like when it's on the TV. So, yeah, so Golden X today on the Retroid Pocket 2. See you in a bit. Right, okay, we've got it hooked up. Now, yeah, let's change the aspect ratio before we do anything else. So we need to do that, and it shouldn't be played like this. There we go, picture size, yep. There we go, that looks much better. Let's give it a little bit of volume. Of course, this being one of the games that I have got on the Mega Drive, but at the moment can't actually play it. Like I said, got problems with the auxiliary HDMI converter, so. Right, okay, let's start a game. Yep, yep. Uh, let's give this a bit more volume. Oh, push the wrong button. Now the good thing with this is, unlike the Raspberry Pi version I've got, all the buttons work on this one, <laughs> so which is always a plus. Oh, just I was about to jump and take him out. Oh. Oh. Mine. Of course, it's been a classic game, Golden X, one of my favourites. Oh, come on. Let's fry these guys a bit.
always a lot harder when you play this on your own because that happens <laughs> yeah see while you're hitting one the other one's attacking you right one's down see it you die and all yeah good stuff Oh, just about to jump at him and hit him then. Ah, oh, give over, mate. This guy's starting to irritate me now. It's a lot easier to play out this game. Oh, come on. Getting no luck here at all. Oh, really? Dragon, things are changing. Stay still, you little son. Seriously? Ah, oh, no. Now I've hit the wrong button. Great, just used all my magic now. Chubb is the retroid is the buttons are very small. Sometimes you can knock more than one. I've got big fingers though. As you can tell, I've done it twice now, just in this one game so far. Oh, seriously, a minute I get up and get attacked. Ah, oh, come on. Give me a chance to get up. Oh man, this is getting annoying. Spawns me right up in between them all as well. Yeah, there we go. Give me that. Where did that miss him?
Let's end up getting him then. Still alive. Ah, oh, what? Right, and the question is, can I make it? Oh, I did. Thank you. Not that I can get them, because they're all landing off screen. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh, done it again! Oh, I don't believe it. Pushed the wrong damn button again. Oh, man, I'm not having a lot of luck in this game at all. I went to push B, and I caught A as well. Although on this that would be Y, but on the Mega Drive it would have been A button. So it's basically set up exactly the same. Ah oh, man, why does it always spawn you up right in front of the bad guy? <laughs> You laugh now. <laughs> mm, cheers for that, mate. See how you like it now, mate. Barge you guys. Mm. Well, here comes a big bag, guy. Right? Sure, he has magic of his own. Oh, messed that up. He's dead. Mm, didn't get much magic out of that one. Thank you. 
And that's it guys, game over. A lot harder when you play it on your own. Like when I used to play two player, we used to get all the way through this game, but so hard now when you play it one player. Because there's trouble with the Retroid Pocket 2, as far as I know, I don't think you can hook up another controller unless you can do it wirelessly. But yeah. Right, so that's it then guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're made aware of all our future live streams and videos. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy Geezer out.